Well, to the Berlin Velodrome. Will we see more world records tomorrow? Well, you never know. Christina's nodding alongside me. I would love that. Yep. I think we all would. So, women's team sprint finals. So our next uh, battle for the medals here today. And it is the women's team sprint contested between uh, the riders on the track now. People's Republic of China versus Russian Federation. People's Republic of China, Fifi Chen and Chen Zhong taking on Russian Federation, Daria Shmaleva and Anastasia Voinova. So two laps of the track to determine who will take away the bronze medal here today. Big gap again between the first and second rider for Russian Federation. A little closer here uh, for the uh, People's Republic of China, but it's the relative positions on the track that are all important. And Russian Federation are ahead by 0.295 of a second. Shmaleva and Voinova, they are uh, experts at this event and are looking for a bronze medal here as we head around. But the pace of the People's Republic of China still very much in contention. They've gone ahead, Russian Federation. Oh, are they heading towards the bronze medal here? People's Republic of China, yes, they are. They have taken it in a time of 32.371. Well, they started slower than Russian Federation, but they finished faster. So People's Republic of China are the winners of the bronze medal in the women's team sprint bronze medal final. So I think that's a thorough pull for the uh, Russian Federation. Um, I had it on my list winning a silver or bronze medal or even a gold medal. So I had it on my list to win a medal and now go back to home but just the fourth place, that's hard. That's really hard because the last past years, they had ever a medal in a team team sprint discipline. So had ever a medal. It's the first year without a medal. That's hard. Absolutely, Christian. Yeah, there were the, the uh, bronze medalists in 2018, the uh, silver medalists last year in Pruskov in Poland. But uh, they knew, of course, when they didn't make the uh, gold silver medal final, then they were in a battle for bronze. But unfortunately, they have lost out for them. But uh, there is nothing to be taken away from an incredible ride from the People's Republic of China team of uh, Fifi Chen and uh, Chan Si Zhong. We said they were on the upward ascendancy of the People's Republic of China, and they've now got a bronze medal to show for it in the women's team sprint to add to uh, the Asian title that they uh, have already taken in championship competition this year. So now is the point where uh, Christina alongside me begins to uh, uh, bite her nails to watch uh, Germany take on Australia for the gold medal final. Stephanie Morton and Carly McCulloch are the riders for Australia. They are the defending champions, taking the title 12 months ago in Pruskov in Poland. Their opponents are the team of Germany. Pauline Sophie Grabosch and Emma Heinzer. So here we go. Let's see if Australia can defend the title. Can Germany snatch it away from them? It's all down to these two laps of the Berlin Velodrome to decide the gold and silver medal. Lead lap being ridden by Carly McCulloch for Australia. Germany ahead by 0 0.081 of a second. Hey, you can't get much closer than that. Into the second lap we go here. And Germany, can they hold on to the advantage? Yes, they can by 0.221 of a second. The Germany take the gold medal in the women's team sprint. Emma Heinzer delivers the goods in the final lap. Pauline, Sophie, Grabarsch and Emma Heinzer once again champion for Germany in the women's team sprint. Well, Christina takes a picture of the uh, scoreboard there and, uh, well, they really did uh, take that ride to last year's champions. They were unfazed by riding against the defending champions. Uh, it was only a small margin, but it all counts. And the goal goes to Germany in 32.163. Australia gets the silver in 32.384. It is incredible. So, um, hard to find my words now because I'm really proud of the girl um, just to explain maybe my emotions. Um, it was hard for Emma Hinze to get uh, in that role after my accident to fit in my role 
Um, it was hard for Pauline Grabisch because um, she was by my side at my accident. Um, and now they make such a great way for their own. So um, it's not that they're jumping out of any kind of shadow. They're making her own history. And uh, they are incredible fast. So um, it's hard for me not to cry because I'm so proud. It's good. Even the time is brilliant beating Australia. Um, but that big gap is not beating close. It is, hey, here we am. Here we are. Now to South, rocking like a hurricane. Here we are, rocking like a hurricane. Yeah. Oh, rocking so, like a hurricane. I like it. Like it's, uh, proud and emotional moments for uh, Christina Vogel alongside me, of course. Uh, one half of that uh, medal winning duo for uh, so many years. And uh, she really was uh, absolutely on the edge of uh, the uh, seat there watching that one. And there are proud moments indeed for uh, Pauline Sophie Grabage and Emma Heinzer of Germany. Once again, Germany are the women's team sprint gold medalist and world champions. Australia are the winners of the silver medal and People's Republic of China beating Russian Federation to take the bronze. Well, you couldn't ask for better competition in that women's team sprint. Whole thing done and dusted in one.